Miss Tourism Uganda 2016 kicked off with a launch on 1st April 2016 at the Uganda Museum. Under the theme for this year, Let the Pearl Shine, we transversed Karamoja where the 19-year-old Alepa Pamela from Moroto District emerged as Miss Tourism Karamoja 2016 and 20-year-old Achiro Eve from Abim District as the first runner-up. We later on went to the beautiful Renzori region where the 20-year-old clinical medical student from Kasese district, Dathin Bira Kajumba, was crowned Miss Tourism Renzori region 2016, followed by Doreen Hop Masika from Kasese as the first runner-up and Patricia Akampulira from Kasese as the second runner-up. We proceeded to West Nile, where the 24-year-old go-getter Odonkara Epiaka Elder from Zumbe District emerged Miss West Nile 2016, Alice Tiperu from Arua as first runner-up and Nenia Judith from Arua District as second runner-up. Our next stop was the land of the youngest monarch in Uganda, Toro, where we witnessed the dynamic 21-year-old Grace Nyakana from Kabarole District being crowned Miss Tourism Toro 2016, Pis Goretti Kobusinge from Kabarole as first runner-up and Kajumba Christine from Kabarole as second runner-up. Stunning beauties they were. We then packed our bags and headed to the land of the Chabazinga, where 23-year-old Hop Nyanzi Gloria, a teacher by profession from Namutumba district, was crowned Miss Tourism Busoga Region 2016. Namukose Masi from Kamuli district was first runner-up and Kawala Lydia from Namutumba district was second runner-up. Tessa region hosted the team to a grand tour prior to the event where an industrial fine art graduate from Makere University, Diana Akiro, was crowned Miss Tourism Tessa 2016, Judith Kifola, first runner-up, and the journalist from New Vision, Martha Aguang, second runner-up. Bunyoro region was next and we witnessed a Tina Stella being crowned Miss Tourism Bunyoro 2016 amidst massive support from her natives. Namutosi Helena proceeded to win the crown in Eastern Uganda and the pearl shone brighter. We couldn't resist but further head to the land of milk and honey where the beautiful Rita Twahira from Tungamo district was crowned Miss Tourism Ankole Region 2016, a home was a fortunate first runner-up and Noreen to Gaineo second runner-up. At an auspicious occasion, the Navigator crowned Margaret Nakaye Miss Tourism Buganda 2016 with her princesses Olivia Nantesa, first runner-up, and Kezia Nachibule, second runner-up. Straight to the north, 23-year-old Recha Ochole from Lira District was crowned Miss Tourism Northern Region 2016, 22-year-old Atoll Bella Vicky from Padere District, first runner-up, and 23-year-old Ijang Masi Rebecca from Apak was second runner-up. The Switzerland of Uganda, Kigezi region, where the tall 22-year-old Asimire Agnes from Kanungu District was crowned Miss Tourism Kigezi region 2016, 20-year-old Kukundakwe Flavia from Kabale, first runner-up, and Wurukundo Rita, second runner-up. With 36 beauties from across 12 regions of Uganda, the bootcamp kicked off at Uganda Wildlife Education Center 
to equip them with diverse knowledge on beauty therapy, fitness, fashion, business ethics, social media management, personal branding, makeup and styling, personality development, speech and diction classes, dance classes, not forgetting tourism knowledge. A day upon arrival, the beauties were unveiled and made its glamour, pomp and ululations from their families, fans and supporters at the International University of East Africa Auditorium in Kansanga. The contestants spent their first one week at Uganda Wildlife Education Center where they had an extensive study tour about the operations of the education center. It wasn't just about the study tour alone. Different mentors in line with the tourism industry paid courtesy visits on a daily basis to inspire and equip the young ladies with more knowledge about the tourism industry. The deputy CEO of Uganda Tourism Board Mr. John Sempewa equipped the ladies with extensive knowledge on the different roles of UTB, marketing tourist attractions, and streamlining tourism as a business. Our duty is to develop tourism products, all right? To make sure that tourists stay here longer and you know, it's very much more. So how we do it? Renowned tourism consultant and expert, Mr. Deo Lubega emphasized the necessity of this pageant to the growth of the tourism industry internationally and locally. One of our favorite moments at Chiwek was the snake challenge. All the ladies were tasked to pose with the African rock python, marketing it through having a perfect photograph with it. Tears, anxiety, excitement, the nerves, Reeling smiles and pauses filled yeah. the challenge. They say work without play makes Jack a dull boy. The contestants had a sports day where they were divided up into different teams, black, yellow, red, and white. Reelers, sit-ups, planks, jumping jacks, and push-ups were determinants of who the sports giants would be. The white team was declared the winning team after their different several wins and the black team graciously took the last spot. The ladies were further tasked with a beach beauty shoot where all of them performed remarkably well and the winner of this challenge will be announced later on tonight. After a jam-packed one week at Chiwek, the contestants had to be cut down from 36 to 19 at a glamorous talent and elimination night held at Waterfront Beach in Tebe. Other 18 finalists of Miss Tourism Uganda 2016. The lucky 19 finalists headed to Queen Elizabeth National Park in Kasese District. Long journey it was, but worth it. Day one was filled with a game drive where the ladies experienced wildlife with animals like lions, buffaloes, wathogs, elephants, the Ugandan cob, among others. On to a shopping therapy at the craft village with a spectacular view of Lake Bunyampaka, they fulfilled a tourist duty. 
they had a boat cruise on Kazinga Channel where they were taught a lot about bird species and learned more about hippos. Further still, the day was jam-packed with a visit to Lake Katwe where the girls studied more about salt mining. Thousands of salt pans at Lake Katwe and a lot of information in line with salt mining was availed. They further headed to Lake Bunyanyange where they had a chance to see thousands of flamingos. After two days spent at Queen Elizabeth National Park in Kasese, our next stop was Lake Mburo National Park in Mbarara. The ladies had an amazing time on the boat cruise where they learned more about birds, peoples and wetland conservation. After the two days spent at Lake Mburo National Park, bags packed back to Kampala. The ladies visited Christ the King Church where they were all blessed by the parish priest. As part of promoting religious tourism, they further visited Light the World Church for Pastor Wilson Bugembe. Tourism being the major core value of this pageant, the ladies paid a visit to the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities where the State Minister for Tourism, Honorable Godfrey Chiwanda, addressed them and highlighted more about the tourism sector in Uganda. And, uh, we are launching a program called Tulamule. The purpose of the program is to make Ugandans aware of their own country. We couldn't resist visiting the Uganda Museum where the ladies learned more about the history of Uganda plus the different origins of culture and heritage in the Pearl of Africa. Conservation and wildlife being at the forefront of tourism in Uganda, the contestants paid a courtesy visit to Uganda Wildlife Authority to learn more about its operations. They went on to pay a visit to Uganda Tourism Board where the CEO, Mr. Stephen Asimwe, had a word with all of them. Women being key players in the tourism industry, the finalists were further invited by the Uganda Women Entrepreneurs Association. The ladies also paid a visit to Ngamba Chimpanzee Sanctuary where they were taught a lot about chimpanzees and they spent the whole day learning more about these beautiful animals. They have toured, learned a lot about tourism and wildlife. The moment of truth is tonight. 19 finalists. Who will be the next Miss Tourism Uganda 2016?